And then the last nakshatra in Cancer is called Aslesha. That's from 1640 Cancer until 2959 of Cancer. So it's at the very end as well. It goes from 1640 till the end. And Aslesha is it's uh, called the Entwiner. And it's where we can get tangled up and entwined in our sort of dramas. And it's that part of Cancer that becomes entangled up in the life of their child, for instance. A mother has to get tangled up in her child's life. That's the nature of motherhood. And when the mother gets tangled up in the child's life, that's fine when the child needs it. When the child is a baby, the mother just serves the child. But as the child becomes an adult, the mother needs to untangle from it and let the child become a grown-up. For instance, this tangling up of cancer is where it's, it's also analogous to our emotions getting tangled up in our personal desires rather than in a higher, more sattvic principle because the moon is sattvic and cancer is sattvic, which means driven by purity. The mother's love of a child is pure. It asks nothing in return. That's not the same energy that we use in romantic relationships or other relationships with grown-ups where we have our desires and it's about mutual desire. Mutual desire is not about the cancer principle. The cancer principle is selfless love, like I described in Pusha. In Aslesha, it shows where that selfless love becomes an entanglement for the mother getting tangled up in the life of the child. That's the appropriate response. But then, as the child doesn't need the entanglement, the mother can untangle and get tangled up in other things that are pure. The problem with Aslesha is we get tangled up in things that are impure, and our mind is very impure especially through our desires, romantic things, the pain of all kinds of things in life. And so the deity is the serpent, the sarpa, and the sarpa entwines and tangles up things, wraps around things. When it's wrapped around the truth, it leads us straight to the source. That's what serpent energy is. Serpent power is related to the kundalini, related to the depth of life itself. So this is why you see serpents represented a lot and, you know, we need to never pathologize anything astrologically, no matter what it is. And then, you know, Aslesha is one of the nakshatras that are pathologized. Oh, this is one of the bad ones. It definitely has a diabolical potential, mainly because we're not pure. But there's a great potential for purification here, simply because of that intense entangling nature. And so, when, when the subjects get, when planets in Aslesha get tangled up in the truth, it's deeply mystical, deeply powerful, deeply profound nakshatra. But it's also, you gotta watch it because that snake might bite you. But if it doesn't bite you, then that, that poison becomes a great elixir. And um, we just need to make sure that any planets there in Aslesha connect with a pure intention, a pure motive, a selfless intention. And that's not the same as in signs such as, you know, that are ruled by Venus um, or other signs. So, Aslesha is that part of Cancer tangled up in pure love and loving that part of it. So any planets there need to connect with that higher purpose and not get tangled up in personal gain and personal desire.